so this would also be true uh, in uh, practices where we regulate respiratory function or practices where we greatly or dramatically affect respiratory function. One example may be uh, meditation, you know, where breathing, exercise, control, and regulation you know, dramatically affect the normal rate with which we breathe and the manner in which we breathe that could lead to, again, a, a change in the rate of synthesis and release of these compounds from the lung that could then subsequently be uh, taken up in, in the brain and could assist in producing some of the experiences that uh, people experience in doing such uh, meditative exercises. Similarly, in extreme exercise, like a runner's high, you know, we do know, know that endorphins are greatly increased uh, from people who uh, run uh, long distance races. But what's also happening then from their alteration of normal respiration and lung function uh, to the synthesis and release of DMT, it may also be involved in that. And in ecstatic practices of dancing and uh, like the whirling dervishes and, and other ecstatic practices where one basically whips themselves into a frenzy, Again, the alteration in respiration rate and the release of DMT uh, from lung tissues could lead to mystical states or an experience that's quite altered in terms of perception.